It's Brian again. I'm going to run you through a HIIT workout, a high intensity uh, workout. Try to get that blood pumping, get some cardio action in your day. I'm going to run through it one time, um, but you can do this. I recommend two to four times every uh, cycle. So what we're going to do, we're going to be on for about three exercises for 30 seconds. Then we're going to be on for 15 second break. And the first thing we're going to start off with is just a jumping jack. It's just it's like a gym class, out, down, just like that. I'm going to go for 30 seconds here. I'm going to start my watch. Alrighty, and again. and close to your body on the curl, out and up on the press, just like that. Perfect. Looking good. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth, keep that back nice and straight. Gauge that core, keep it nice and tight. Almost there. Three, two, and one. All right, so now we're going to go into a high knee or a march. So a march is just like this, or you can go into a high knee, whatever you choose. Just like you're jogging in place, keep it up, into your nose, out of your mouth, get that blood rushing, bring your legs back to your heart, back down, those arms pumping, just like that. All right. Going just like that. And we'll stop in three, two, one. And we're on a 15 second break. All right, so you shake it out, get some water if you need. It's always important to keep your core temperature down. So if you drink some water, that help keep that core temperature down. You're going to shake it out, feel good. The next exercise we're going to go into is a squat, a squat to calf raise. So we'll shake it out. And we'll begin in three, two, one. Go down. Just like that. And up. You need to go down just right there. And up. It's totally fine. Quarter squat and up. Just like that. Remember, shoulder width apart. Pushing your hips back. Chest out. Push it out nice and straight. And go down and up. Just like that. Good job. Alrighty. Three, two, one. We're going to switch into a side lunge. So, what we're going to do here, we're going to step and lunge. Step the other side and lunge. This is just nice. Work on that lateral movement. Those tendons, tendons and ligaments in your knee. And everywhere. Some love. Keep it nice and tight. Good. As you can, you should feel a nice stretch right here in adductors, just like that. Good job. All right, go to the next exercise in three, two, one. Next exercise we're going to do is a wall push up, or you can use a chair, but you're just going to go to the wall, get a nice little push up, throw it towards it, go straight up, back down. Straight up and back down. You need to explore out the wall, do a little clap if you can. Focus on keeping that up. Done that. Chest push off. Good job. 
second break. Break in through the nose, out through the mouth. Just like that. Shake everything out. 15 seconds. Alrighty. We're going to start a front lunge in three, two, one. So we're just going to alternate legs. Front lunge and down. Remember, you want that knee to be lined up with your toe. Don't go across, just like that. Just go as far as you can. Get a slight lunge if you need to, just like that. Step up, back down. Works on ankle stability as well. Back's nice and straight, and we'll change to our leg drives in three, two, one. Just gonna come to the wall again. And then drive those legs up, just like that. If you want to get going fast, you can drive them to the wall, drive them up in your south. Push like you're driving the wall really hard. Just like that. Breathe into your nose, out through your mouth. And we'll stop in three, two, one. All right, good job, everyone. Remember, that's one round. So you go through it again to replay this video. Go through it two to four times. Remember, 30 seconds on for the exercise, three in a row. 15 seconds off again. 30 seconds off for three exercises. 15 seconds off and 30 seconds off for two exercises. And take your 15 second minute break after that, whatever you feel comfortable with. Again, if you have any comments or concerns, don't be afraid to email me or leave a comment below. Thank you.